Okay, so today uh, we have a solenoid sticking issue uh, on the starter motor. So I'm going to take the starter motor off, inspect it, see if there's anything uh, simple, simple fix, or whether it just need uh, servicing or even replacing. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the batteries, which you can see I've done here. The crown super coach, two cranking batteries, which stick here. Okay. And they're both disconnected, so there's no power going to start motor. Uh, when we've got the starter motor off, got some jump leads, so we can come to this position and uh, attempt to get it started on the ground when we can actually see physically what's going on rather than on the bus. So uh, let's go and see what's happening. Okay, and the starter motor and the blower, and uh, no, this crown, particularly on this one is under my kitchen floor. So I'll be able to lift that up so we gain access and you can see that there. And here we have the hatch open and the starter motor. Okay, as you can see here's the starter motor. That's the piece we'll be taking out. The floor is up. So we've got three. Two on your knees. Fifteen mil bits as well. Um, so got to get the power off first, even though there's no power button. It's all about that. Okay. So all the bolts are out. And it's quite a lump. So the technique I've got is the like a sling because that's to come out. And that, and then I need it to clear. I think. No, I can't hold the camera and do that, so back in a sec. And a little bit of jiggling, twist it round so the solenoid is, is towards the engine flat and then slides under the blower enough to release that end. And here it goes. And using the sling makes it a lot easier by yourself. And now let's get it outside and see what's jammed. Okay. So, taking off the inspection hatch has revealed that the this connection, which is normally tight down with the, the screw, is slightly corroded and it was not actually connected. So the first thing is, let's address that and see if uh, we get anything after that. And, by replacing this with a, a, a larger washer and screwing it back down to make a positive contact, once we put the power back on, and obviously this will be the starter power too. That's exactly what it should do. Under the blower, and once it drops, you can then see the end drop in, and then you move it back, twist it back up. You'll see. Just get that one in. This cheeky boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
particularly exciting tightening up three big nuts. So once we've uh, got that and the power back to it, we'll meet you in the cab. So everything back, I believe it should be. Two positives, one negative. And start a cable. Batteries are back on. Showing power. So now it's have we resolved it not started. She warms up, tick over, levels off. Beautiful. So yeah, now we have it. Small hot motor problem uh, on the solenoid, but uh, yeah. I need to look further into why it's uh, corroded like that, but uh, we're running again, and that's the main thing. Looking great. Alright, hope you've enjoyed a bit of an interesting change. Uh, maintenance on a Crown Supercoach.